8print.co, how signatures work and why you should design any publication in sets of 16 pages. Okay, so imagine that this is a 16-page brochure. Obviously, it's tiny, but it's got all 16 pages, 14, 15, 16. But notice it, it has page 1 and page 4 and page 5. What happened to page 2 and 3? It has page 1 and 4 and 5. Well, page 2 and 3 are in here. See, there's page 2 here, and there's page 3 here. Why is that? It's because of the signature. The way signatures are printed on large printing presses, like ours, is that they're actually printed on one sheet of paper. They're printed totally just on one sheet of paper. So, this is how it ends up looking. On one sheet of paper, page 16 and page 1 are right next to each other. Page 4 and page 13 are right next to each other. This is what's called imposition. And graphic designers generally don't have to do that anymore because it's all uh, automatically done on software. And if you turn the page, notice how page 1's not here because page 1 is on the opposite of page. Here's page 2. It's poorly drawn, but anyway, page 1 is obviously going to be on the other side of page 2. Or page 2 is, you yeah, know, you get the picture. Anyhow, well, this is how they come out of the printing press, okay? When they come out of the printing press, all we do, we physically take this huge sheet of paper, fold it in half, we fold it in half, and then we fold it in half again. And there you have it. It's done. It's already a book, but you can't turn the pages, right? So this is what we do. We put them on giant, huge cutting machines, and we just cut one edge, and look, lo and behold, you, well, you still can't turn the pages, right? So we cut another edge, one more edge, and voila. Now what you can do is turn every single page. You turn the page, and there's page two and three, page four and five, page six and seven, and so on. So you've got all 16 pages, yay. But now, and page 16. But let's say you wanted a book that was... Um, 34 pages large, 34 pages. Okay, 34 pages, how many 16-page sheets do you remember? I cut this in half, I, I fold it in half, and then I folded it in half again, so it's like this. Remember this big sheet that we had? How many of these sheets, these single sheets, would we have to make a 34-page brochure? We'd have to have three because there's 16 here, and then we have to have another one of these for 32 pages. And then if you wanted 34 pages, we'd have to have one more huge sheet. We can't use a sheet that's this tiny to put it into a big press. It's just too small to run in a big press. So we have to use another one, huge one of these. And then what would end up happening is, uh, I don't have a demonstration, demonstration to show you the other half. What we do is take this entire big third sheet of big paper. Let's say this is the third sheet of big paper and we just printed everything on it. But this is only page 30. Page 33 and then page 34. You see where I'm going with this? What's going to happen is after that we manually fold it in half or we have a folder, a mechanical folder. We fold it in half and we fold it in half again and then we fold it in half again, and we do the same thing to it. We cut here, and then we cut here, and guess what we have to do next? For those last two pages, well, I actually put it on the wrong side, here, here they are. Let's say it was like this. Ignore the fact that it's, there's two blank pages. Let's just say that there's no blank pages and it just looks like this, because I did this video wrong. Anyhow, we'd have to take this paper, all this other paper, and just throw it away. Because what you want is 34, you want a 34 page brochure and not a 32 page brochure, which is 2 times 16. So what we have to do is with this last two pages is manually stick it to the end and then add it to our binding process. This, this is automatic. The machine just automatically folds, 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 cuts, cuts and we're done. And all we have to do is put it to, uh, through an automatic gluing system and just glues one end of it and we're done. Now the last two pages that you wanted are physically, manually going to have to be collated by hand, stuck on the side, quality controlled, and then glued. Which is why if you print say 10, 20, 50, or 100,000 copies, every once in a while 
you'll see a book or a magazine that's missing two pages. Have you noticed that? It's missing two pages somewhere. It's because of the manual labor part. There's a 0.01% chance that someone will make a mistake. 8print.co to get a quote.